so you might be an editor working for a YouTube fitness channel. Or you're editing corporate videos. At some point of your editing life, you're gonna need something like this. Or this. That's why I've created this free Mogut to streamline some of the workflows. With this Mogut pack, you can create a countdown timer like this, or progress bar animation, or even some numbers and currency animations. And the good thing is, this is completely free. And I'll also keep updating the modular parts to this pack. So just follow the link down below to go to my Gumroad and download Smoker Pack. If this is useful to you, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. If you're feeling extra generous today, you can support me by buying me a coffee. Link also down below. I mean, I do drink loads of coffee a day. It's great. Not very healthy though. Haha. <laughs> now let's open Premiere to see how we can use these Mogurts. Just one more thing I need to caveat before we start. You do need the latest Premiere and After Effects to run this. So to get this work, you also need Dynamic Link. So right click on the clip and see if you get this replaced with After Effects Composition. And if you can see it, that means you're all good and we're ready to go. So I'm now in Premiere and I've got this seven Mogus. I'll show you this Mogus one by one. So the first one is really a very simple one minute countdown timer. By default, it's a one minute timer counting down. If that's what you need, that's perfect. If you want to customize this for a 45 seconds countdown, you could change the end second to 45, and then you could change the number to start to 45. So by the time it's 45 seconds, it will count down to zero, and then you can just cut the rest of it. Not only this is a countdown timer, it could count up as well. If I change the number to start to zero, and the number to end to 45, it will count up from 0 to 45. So it works both ways. I would say always keep this 0. If it's always a countdown, keep these two numbers the same. So 45, 45, and change this to 0. If this is a count up, just swap these two numbers. If this is 30, and you want it to count down from 30, this two should be 30. I'm also giving you the progress bar control, but really, you shouldn't touch it much. It's just giving you a slightly more control of the progress bar because sometimes when you turn this text opacity way down and you can type in your own text in here. And in the styles section, you could customize the colors of the background and as well as the rim color. You could change the stroll opacity, stroll width and overall size. And then there's the opacity of the background as well just in case if you don't want it. So that's basically it. Second timer, it's also a countdown timer, but this is from five minutes. It's got a rotating rim. Again, with tanks, you could change pretty much anything you want. Same as before, you could pick a number that you want to start with. The two numbers here divided by 60 is the number of minutes that it starts off. So if this is 600, 600 divided by 60, that's 10. So it should start counting down from 10 minutes but you will have to change both of them to make it work. And since this time, this sequence is only five minutes long, it should count down from 10 minutes to five minutes. If you want this to be counting down from one minute, it should be 60. And it will just count down from one minute to zero and stays there once it's hit zero. I hope this makes sense. I'm giving you more values to play around with but if you mess up with one, you can always just drag another one down. Each of them will be an independent instance. Now let's look at the styles. This rotating rim has got a speed control. If you want more bars of around the rim, by decreasing this number, you actually get more bars around the rim. And then if you want it to go quicker, you could give it a higher number. And then it runs a lot quicker. If you want it to go the other way, you could give it a negative value. Now it goes anti-clockwise. You can also change the color by the other one. And if you don't want the clock from background, you could turn the opacity down way down to zero. The only thing to pay more attention to and perhaps play around is the numbers. It's quite tricky to get a number right. I will continue to update this pack. So keep an eye on the Gumroad page as well as my YouTube channel. So that's the second five minutes countdown Mogut. Now the third Mogut is a 24 hours 
digital countdown, but obviously this clip is not 24 hours. The idea is just use part of it to help tell your story, but not to use the entire sequence to you know keep track of time. I've given you some numbers here. If you want this to count down from one hour, this should be 3600. And now it starts counting down from one hour. If you want this to count down from 30 minutes, it'll be 1800. You can simply multiply 3600 by a round number to get the number of hour you want. So if I want two hours count down, it'll be 7200. By increasing this slider, you'll get sort of like a time lapse effect. This will not play through the whole clip, it will stop at around 6 or 8 seconds. And the styles, and like the other modes, you can change the color and then the position of this and the size so you could place this in a corner of your screen. So the next mogut is a traditional clock. Let me just bring it down to the timeline. Already out of the box, you can see it's a working clock. Uh, moving in real time, it's got a ticking motion as well. But just like other mogut, you can customize this to your needs. First up, you can set the hours. So I've given some comments here. So for every hour, it's 3600. So if I want it to be starting from one o'clock, I'll just type in 3600. 0, 0 here. 2 o'clock would be 7200, so on and so forth. By adjusting this number, you set the uh, at the time you want to start with. I'll set it back to the 3600, so it starts from 1 o'clock. So this is a 1 minute clip, and it's meant to be just used to show the indication of time. There's a time multiplier here, so if I change the number 1 to 2, it should move twice as fast as real time. And if I want it to go crazy, I'll give it 10. And then it should work really fast. If you want it to move backwards, so for a special effect, if you want to indicate the time is going backwards, you could give it a negative number. So I put it minus five, and then it, you see it's going anti-clockwise now. So let me just set it back to one. Instead of ticking motion, we could have smooth motion as well. So if I change it here to smooth motion, you get smooth motion on the second hand. So that's the clock mechanics. Uh, in terms of the design, you could change basically everything on here. So the clock size, and then you could change the, uh, the width of the bars as well. So have a play, it's very versatile and should be able to meet your production needs. Next one is the Smogurt numbers. This is one of my favorite modes of this pack. So to start off, you've got the prefix and the suffix. You could type in anything you want. Say if I want a pound sign, if I want to change the GBP to K, I could do so. Or USD. Color, it will change the global color of the text. Animation, what time do you want to start animation? At the moment it starts at one second, but I could bring it down to zero. So it starts from the very beginning. And I want it to end at say five seconds and it runs between zero seconds to five seconds. You could set the starting number and the ending number. The animation will be generated automatically. So from zero second to five seconds, it will run from minus 148,000 to whatever number I gave it. So at five seconds, the animation stopped. Decimal points, if I want to give it, say two decimal points or up to three decimal points, I could do so. At the moment, it's left aligned, but I could choose to center aligned. That means when things are growing or shrinking, it will expand or shrink from the middle. If I choose left, the anchor point is set on the left. If I choose right, the anchor point is set on the right. Hope that's quite straightforward. And if you want this number to be bigger, you could increase the size of the font or smaller. To change the position, just go to effect controls and change the position of this layer. Now you could pretty much have any number you want within this 10 seconds of animation. So just two more modes to go. The next one is progress bar. Clicking it and going to the edit tab. It has got the same animation set up as the other ones. Animation start. What time do you want to start the animation? What time do you want it to end? It's got a total runtime of 15 seconds. The starting number. Do you want this to be from 0 to 100? Or do you want this to be from 100 to 0? And the position of the bar in the text are separate as well. That means you could bring it down and then extend the scale to take up the entire screen. 
and if you want it to be thinner, you could bring the thickness down, something like that. And you could bring down the opacity as well, if you want. On the text, you could change its position as well. You could change a different font, if you want it to be bold, or italic if you want. So sometimes I know you don't want just a solid layer for the progress bar. That's why I've given you options to use your own texture. I've got a sample texture here. It's a picture, basically. And you could just drop in your own picture to change the texture of the progress bar. That's it, really. You could even move the texture to fit your needs. So yeah, that's the progress bar. And finally, we're on to the last one, Numbers Modular, Numbers Mod. It's just like the numbers, but it's got less control. It's got more decimal point. You could change the color, maybe a bit too dark. You change the position. You could go from a negative value, like the other one. It's from one number to another. And you could control what time it starts and what time it ends as well. It's very simple. I'll be creating more of this modular part, so people can just plug and play with this. Uh, just keep an eye on my Gumbroad and YouTube as well. I would like to also do a plug for a future episode, which I intend to do very, very soon. This is to do with one of the mochas I designed. This clock was designed with just one layer and with all the effects under the same layer. The benefit of that is you could save this as a preset and then load it up anywhere you want. This future episode would be a good segue into learning After Effects, how to use shape layers and some basic After Effects expressions. So do check back and stay tuned. That's it about this video. Hope you liked more goods. Until next time, happy editing.